All right, YouTube, we're going in for round two of the Modern Challenge. I'm currently 1-0, beat Mono Red Prison in three last round. I'm going to go put my slippers on while you play. Hey, Philly, leave it. Where are my slippers, Phil? Would you like slippers, Philly boy? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, easy button. Oh, close this. What a terrible time to start my YouTube video. Start it, tell everybody what's going on, then leave. Okay. Uh, we have a discard spell, and a redraw, and a snapcast mage. I think I can keep this hand. It's kind of borderline. Like a removal spell. My opponent Mulligan. Gas. There's nothing that makes me happier than, okay, Tron, all right. All right, so let's see what they put on top. They put in Ancient Stirrings. Tron's tough. All right, so we just take an O-Stone. So their hand sucks. But we don't have necessarily a super clock. Serum Visions isn't bad. If I draw a red fetch land, I'm just going to bolt myself. So we know three out of the four. All right, so yeah, we're just going to we're just going to get Death Shadow into play. I mean, my opponent's deck's really good. Like, this deck is super good. Alright, let's cast Looting. I can ditch this Bobble. I can ditch this Fatal Push. So let's go get... Probably a watery grave. Alright, we don't want either of these. So actually, if I draw. No. Uh, there's no way I can kill. My opponent's going to miss a couple land drops in order for me to kill them. Unless the top card's Battle Rage. If my top card's Battle Rage, I can kill them this turn. But the top card's got to be Battle Rage. Yeah, if the top card's Battle Rage, are super dead. But. Alright, there's the Tron. Into the old Karn Dad. And we're good here. Oh, man. What a tough start. But the deck's, that's why the deck's good. I mean, like, yes, they drew into their pieces, but they played a whole bunch of uh, removal to get there. Not removal, uh, redundant things to get it to get there. Like, they cracked two stars in Ancient Stirrings and had a bunch of draw steps. So, it is what it is. Um... I don't like my Snapcasters in this matchup. I'd much rather have like a Braid or something like... My Bolt supercharged my draw. I think I'd rather have... I'm going to cut a Bolt and I'm going to cut a Snapcaster Mage and bring in two of Braids. 
And I think this is what we're going to do here. The K commands are just slow. Though 1K command is probably better than this lightning bolt. So let's go like this. Here's the plan. So we're going to have to mulligan to a good aggressive hand. Good aggressive disruptive hand. And play play well here. So all like the best the best way to beat Tron is to just mulligan well, I think. I think it's because you're you're basically both just putting your head down and racing. You just gotta be able to have a disciplined and like mulligan to a threat. To aggression backed up by disruption. Because Tron's too good to just have disruption backed up by aggression. You gotta be like I want I, I want like a shadow or an angler on two. That's what we're looking for here. We had Jarvis U versus Ely Cassis going on. Going on at the, at the Grand Prix. Oh, I think this hand's too slow. I don't think I can keep this. I just, there's, like, I'm not going to be able to get my angler down in a fast enough way. And while one discard is good, like, I'm not doing anything on turn two. And if my turn three is an Inquisition, it's just not good enough. All right, this hand's better. It's turn two shadow with a Ceremonious Rejection. Doesn't matter what, we, what we're doing here. We're fetching Guaranteed. I would probably keep that hand in the dark on the play, but I don't think I can keep that against Tron. Let me give you one second. Hey, leave it. Okay, we'll keep this. Scry it on top. Oh, they have double dismember. Jesus. I'm just going to take one of them. We have six discard spells to come off the top here that can be good. And at least we have two threats. So there's the power plant. So one, two... Reject something, play Angler next turn. Yeah, we're just going to play into this Dismember, I think. As much as that sucks. Because if we... If I get to... Then Ceremoniously Rejection, I'll have five cards in my graveyard. And then I can... And if I draw... I can get Angler down. If I draw a land, I can Vidillion click them. My opponent might just not even... They might just untap. Which would be gas. Yep. Oh no, they're not untapping. Okay, you got it. Play your forest. Nice. Ancient stirring is nice. So they have Tower, Karn, and then whatever this, whatever this gets, and then two unknown cards. Okay, we're definitely going to reject that. It's so super aggressive, but I need to. I need if I don't get the Gurmag Angler down, I'm not going to win. So stubborn denial. All right. Snapcaster Mage is not bad. We're going to leave the Thoughtseize in my graveyard.
Then we're definitely going to just draw a step my opponent if we draw a land. Which probably means that I should have kept the counter spell. Yeah, that was a mistake. So, they, what they do? They cast Ancient Stirrings. They put Urza's Mine into their hand. So they're going to have Tron next turn. So, we need to draw, we need to draw a land here. Because they have Tower, Karn, X. Oh, that's not good. Discard spell. Come on. Nope. And now we're just like super dead. Which is unfortunate. Oh, Tron. Um. Oh man, we're gonna get Tron out of the game. This turn, if we had drawn this in different orders and not drawn the Snapcaster Mage, we'd have been all set. But unfortunately, we drew things in a different order. There's the tower. And there's the Karn. Am I flashing this thing in, the Snapcaster in, Major? And probably get this Karn down to one. And then hopefully figure out how to, like. Then it goes up. So we're going to just draw a step my opponent now. Crack the bobble. We're going to be able to get the Karn out of the way, at least. Which is kind of sweet. Maybe, maybe we're still in it. So I'm actually going to check out what their card they're drawing is. So that I can figure out whether I want to click them or not. So they're drawing an O-Stone if I click them. If I take anything here, I'm just going to get O-Stoned. But they O-Stone away their, their Karn also. Oh my god. Leave him with Ulamog. Jesus Christ. Let's just take the worm coil engine and then pass. God, that's gross. So that's their hand. They can just pop the whole board. Or they can like go up, play another car, and go down. So just attack the car. I'm just going to attack them. They go to put a counter on this Karn, then I'll just abrade that thing. I don't know, I don't really think I've got a lot of outs here. Without bolts in my deck also, maybe I should leave some bolts in there just to be able to like 
when this game when the game gets helpless. What are we doing? Open a fake counter. All right. Destroy target artifact. So now this Karn, now that they go like Karn tick down, Karn tick down. Oh, it's back? Okay. And it's too loud? So now I think I attack... I think I attack Karn. And play my land. All right, good. I don't know what happened there, but so they're gonna play Worm Coil Engine. They have nine mana. Okay. Yeah, now we're dead. Okay, we'll be back for round three. 